Hello, inorganic synthesis peeps. I'm going to go through appendix one, how to set up a reaction under nitrogen. This is the most simple way to do this process. There are much more complicated ways if your reagents are more air sensitive. This is suitable for reagents that are slightly oxygen sensitive, but not particularly moisture sensitive. The basic premise of this is we're going to have nitrogen going into a reaction and we slowly take apart the different joints and nitrogen will flow through flushing the whole system uh, with nitrogen to flush all of the air and water vapor out and then at the end we'll have a closed system ready to do our chemical reaction. Appendix 7 talks about the solvent purification system, the SPS. This is where we get our dry solvents that we would use for setting up an air sensitive reaction. I'm not gonna demonstrate that right now because I'm not actually gonna be using chemicals in this demo. Here is the glassware that you need to do this reaction. A two neck flask, a stopper that fits your two neck flask, a nitrogen inlet adapter that fits your flask, an addition funnel is optional, a stir bar, and finally a nitrogen outlet adapter. We're going to do our reaction in a two-neck flask, which already has a stir bar inside, so I'll clamp it. And the next step is to turn on the nitrogen. So we go to the nitrogen valve here. You just need to turn it a little bit. You want to keep your eye on the bubbler, which is over here. So that's probably a little bit too much, but that's fine. This, the nitrogen comes in from the valve through this top manifold to the bubbler. If there's a path of least resistance, if I open this valve, the bubbler stops and that much nitrogen flow is now coming out of this hose. So I can attach the hose to my nitrogen inlet adapter and put it onto my flask. Now the nitrogen is flowing through the flask I can take a stopper. If I put the stopper in, the bubbler is now bubbling because I have a closed system. So I'm not currently purging the flask. So I use my nitrogen outlet adapter to create a small opening. So nitrogen is now flowing through my system and I wanna leave it like this for about 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, it's been about a minute. Let's check out our reaction. So I purged this flask with nitrogen. I removed the outlet adapter, replaced the stopper. The bubbler is now bubbling. I have a positive pressure of nitrogen. So any small leaks in my system, nitrogen will go out instead of air going in. If I wanted to add a reagent or a solvent, I could turn up the nitrogen. So turn the valve slightly bubbler is now bubbling a lot. I can remove the stopper, add my reagent, put the stopper back in, and I'm keeping a positive flow of nitrogen the whole time. In some cases you'll need to use an addition funnel to add your reagent slowly. This is a pressure equalizing addition funnel so it has an open uh, ch channel here. It's a little bit tricky to flush th this with nitrogen so I'll show that. We place this onto our flask, the bubbler is bubbling, and I put the stopper up on the top. So now I have a closed system but I want to purge both this side channel and the main channel. So I'll start by purging the side channel. So this valve is off, the nitrogen is going to go through this side channel, wait about 30 seconds to a minute. Then open the valve. Now I'm purging up the main chamber and going out where the stopper is. After 30 seconds to a minute, I remove the outlet adapter, place the stopper back in, and I'm back under positive pressure. Hello, inorganic synthesis. Mm.